Hi everybody, I am the Bronze Hippie and today we are at the Candy Cane Garden. You're at the Candy Cane House and we're gonna check out everything and see how everything is growing. And I'm gonna tell you guys what we're gonna be adding into the Candy Cane Garden soon. I just recently gave you guys an update on all of the roses. I don't think I'm really gonna be showing the roses too much in this video. I think we're gonna just get straight to the point. Hey guys, so we're at the garden and I wanted to show you guys how everything is looking so far. I think it's looking good. First things first, that is a mulberry tree. I'm going to cut all of that back because it is already like getting too big. It's covering out some of the strawberry plant that's there. We have a strawberry plant here. We have a collard green here. We have, did I say that? Um, a tomato plant here. I'm on, I don't know what I said, but we have a tomato, we have a collard green, and we have another tomato plant here. Look at, we have some little tomatoes. Here we have some big ones coming in. We have another collard green here. A whole bunch of tomatoes right there. Looking great. This tomato I have to put back inside of its cage. Today I'm gonna come and I'm gonna cut all this because it's really super hard, I feel like, for you guys to distinguish between the tomato and this mulberry. And I don't need that mulberry because I'm letting my other mulberry go back. Alrighty. So we have some tomatoes coming in. We have a tomato over there as well. I have to do a lot of weeding as you guys can see. A lot of weeding. We have a whole bunch of tomato blossoms here. So we have three tomatoes here. And again, we have 14 tomatoes here in total. We have one, two, three collard greens we have four cabbages oh no one of the cabbages is being like covered by the mulberry so we have cabbage here cabbage there cabbage there we have tomatoes here three more we have volunteer tomatoes everywhere they literally are everywhere i think i'm gonna i'm letting them get to a, a bigger size and then i'm gonna pull them up and i'm gonna relocate them to other spaces see so many volunteers this year this is our cucumber i'm gonna have to there we go and this is my little cucumber patch we have going on i need to come with um one of my little clamps and pick that up and trellis it up there this is a, a cabbage collar that I had here. It's already gone to, it's going to seed. Now the seeds are gonna dry up and then I'm gonna re-sow. A whole bunch of tomato um, volunteers. I have my pepper right here. I have another pepper right there. A pepper here as well. And I'm missing, oh, there it goes. And I have a pepper right there. Here's my fig tree. It has a good amount of fig on it. Figs on it. They're looking very, very, very nice. I also have a volunteer sunflowers. Volunteer. And right here I have a green bean. This is my sage. It went to flower and now it's seed. Now it's gonna go to seed. This is more sage that hasn't gone to flower or anything. These are all collards that I let go to seed. I'm gonna take all of these seeds and I'm gonna just start throwing them around my property and see what's gonna pop up next year. I'm gonna dig all of this out and I'm gonna plant more peppers and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, we have a sea of mint back here. We have some onions that are gonna go to flower. We have volunteer green beans here. One, two, a third one back there. Look, some onions. About to go to flower. They look very pretty. We have two apples on the tree, at least for now. This is my Macintosh apple tree. And here's one of my apples. And I 
had another apple. I'm not really sure where it went. Maybe it had fallen off. I don't know. We'll look. See if we can find it. Nope, I do not see it. So I guess we just have our one apple. It's looking cute though. It's nice. I'm happy with that. So along this, and I'm gonna cut all of this, we're gonna plant up a whole bunch of corn here. We're gonna plant a whole bunch of corn right here. And then in that other row, we're gonna plant corn as well. And in those rows right there, maybe some peppers yeah i'm thinking about maybe doing some more peppers i gotta come here and i gotta cut all of this mint that i have growing i gotta cut this fig tree completely back a lot of work that needs to be done that is the apple tree and how it looks pretty big and we have one two we have one two three four five six cucumbers six cucumbers four pepper plants so far 14 tomatoes four cabbages three collard greens and still a whole lot more to go we have a whole lot more that we're gonna put in we're gonna put in adding watermelon i'm i think we're gonna be adding watermelon we're gonna be adding pumpkin we're gonna be adding peppers a whole lot of peppers um maybe some milkweed um and a whole bunch of other stuff. I might even transfer over here um, some lemon balm since I have so much of it. But yeah, we're going to fill in all of these empty spaces. Nothing is going to be empty because last year, if you remember, there was like two rows that were empty. Nothing is going to be empty this year. We're going to get everything in. Um, yeah, I hope that you guys really, really enjoyed this update. Guys, another view again of the tomatoes we have growing. We have blue blossoming, like all the bloomies. We got the morning glory trying to get in here. No morning glory. More cabbage. And they're doing their things after I sprayed them. They all look pretty okay. Um, let's see, these are gonna have some flowers soon. I need to stake this to here. For now, we'll do just like that. But there's so many volunteer tomato plants in here. It's crazy. I've never had this many volunteer tomato plants. Like, they're really everywhere. This is a first for me. My little succulent. I think it's cute. He got some in his head as well. Coming out of his eyeball. If anybody wants some of these seeds, this was really, really pretty. Look at my cat. He's very skittish though. Um, this is, oh my God, a spider. So there's a spider under there. We've been seeing so many spiders lately. It's really crazy right now to me. And there goes Salem through the garden. That's exactly why I need to cut the, the fig tree back. Look what he's about to do. He went under the fig tree. I know, I see your hiding spot. I see it. I'm gonna cut it down. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and my little cameo from Salem. Um, yeah, I hope that the, um, the sage re itself since it just went to flower and now it's going to let out some seeds. I hope that it re itself. Um, the fact that the garden is let us re itself so much is really amazing to me. Like I didn't even have to buy any sunflower seeds this year because three sunflowers just popped up by themselves. Um, this i'm gonna have unlimited amount of seeds of this this was so pretty i want to take these seeds and i'm gonna plant them all over the property in places where i feel like i can't really be a successful gardener because things just tend to die in those places i think that'll like 
hopefully it does well there and then it naturalizes and it just does beautiful these are just my hopes you know so i'm just sorry you got my eye in the tree so again i hope that you guys enjoyed the candy cane garden i hope that you um come back and watch more videos please um like comment and subscribe bless you i don't know if you guys picked that up with the audio but the cat just friend of mine you're a friend of the garden you are a friend of the candy cane house please pull up watch our videos um put your post notifications on so that you know when i'm making new videos new content um maybe in my next video i'll show you guys when i like start cleaning this up and everything like that i haven't done videos like that where I just like clean up. So maybe we could do that in the next video. Right, guys, thanks for watching and I hope that you pull up to my next video and have a great growing season. Bye.